Nerds! Welcome to Nerd Magic, time to get nerd up. Before I continue, I just want to thank my man Ernesto! Thank you for giving me the little motivation so I can put this video out for you guys this week because as you guys know I've been moving. Man, shit, this shit takes forever. Anyways, I'm going to be showing you guys as promised what are my afterthoughts of the Emotion OS ROM on your LG V20. Woo! Now let's get started. As you can see, I'm just scrolling. I'm showing you guys how buttery this shit is. It is really, really smooth, guys. As you can see, I'm going up and down, up and down, up and down. And here it comes with two launchers. Hope you guys mind they ain't going to gutter when I said up and down. <laughs> Man, I miss doing that laugh. <laughs> okay. And as you guys can see, comes with two launcher here. The Pixel launcher, the Google Now launcher. Let me see something real quick here. As you guys see right here, I'm going to the Pixel Launcher. What I had previously was the Google Launcher. I prefer the Pixel Launcher. It gives a more better pixel feeling. All right, and as you see here, everything's going good right here. What's going on here? Oh, I'm such an idiot. I thought I had some windows open. I was clicking, and I'm still clicking on this shit. <laughs> I thought I had some windows open there, so I was clicking just to see what the windows I got open is just to see what the transition is how quick it pulled it up and huh you guys see my nerdy friends there and I love the transition here in the dial up holy shit I forgot I got Gumby in my phone <laughs> anytime you guys want to call Gumby that's the number to Gumby <laughs> what you guys know about Gumby okay enough of that stuff let's see what the messages looks like let me try to be serious for a minute let me just click on my man Leon right here let's send him a message see how everything moves right here what should I send in the message oh I know what I should send <laughs> enjoy a uh, power lucky user uh. oh my god predictive text makes me up there I was trying to say paralyzer well, everything seems pretty good right there, of course, you know, the predictive, the predictive text is only as good as the predictive text that we have on the phone. <laughs> that didn't make no sense, but anyways, let's go on. It seems to come with a lot of animo animation stuff, some emoji here. Alright, so everything seems pretty good right there. I love how the keyboard feels. You know, it's just the Google keyboard and we got the little slidey thing right here. Everything's good with that. Yeah, everything seems to be functioning perfect. So far, there is zero lag as you guys can see. So far, I showed you guys the animation of the beginning. beginning. I'm switching launchers. Let me do a little split screen action right here. There is zero lag whatsoever. And why the hell is Gumby again right here? There's zero lag whatsoever, even up to the time I got it in split screen. When I showed you guys the messages, the transition, everything seems to be working perfectly. So as far as lag go, this ROM does not lag at all. It is super fast. It is super buttery. As you can see, I'm moving back and forth, back and forth through screen, back and forth through screen. Nothing seems to be lagging. To the upper left right here, we got the Google search shortcut. You can click on that. Oh, shit, the blur. Oh my god, it's focusing on my hand instead of the screen. <laughs> okay, come on, come on, come on. Focus on the screen. Okay, let me just fix this real quick. Okay, so now we're back on the screen. Okay, and as you see the notification icon, the notification bar. Oh, son of a bit. Stay focused. Okay, and in the notification here, we got pretty much the basic notification uh, pretty much what you'd expect from AOS P A O K P or if you have a default Google phone when I say that I mean a pixel or a Huawei Nexus 6P or some other type of Nexus this is pretty much what you would expect if you're running raw Google on your phone as all these cool notification shortcuts here we got caffeine <laughs> app picker heads up navigation bar yeah, there's a lot of shortcuts here, guys. You got to go through this for yourself, but I'm liking the shortcuts. Oh, we got Substratum. Hmm. Okay, you can do a whole video on Substratum, so I'm only going to touch it a little bit in this video. But let's save that for later. Okay, so everything's good there. There's no lag still. Oh, what the hell? I was trying to go into settings. It seems like we got a shortcut so we can see the running services and the cache that are in process. Okay, that's interesting. Just make sure you don't hit that shit like what I did. All I was trying to do was go to settings. Okay, and the settings is as expected. You know, it's pretty simple, pretty basic. 
and pretty fast they do it exactly like how the pixel is so I like that you know whenever you see an option whenever you see a head in you pretty much know what to expect in that specific head in that's why I like when they make it as bloat free as possible it just creates such a great user experience you just know where everything is and the extras that I add in right there we got the emotion control and the substratum but I'm not I'm gonna go back in that a little later let's see what else we have anything extra in the settings opposed from those well everything looks pretty much the same as what you expect from a AOKP AOSP build <laughs> to a ROM <laughs> okay okay so let's just go in the extras now because everything seems to be pretty much the same and now we got the emotion control extra so this would be one of the reason why you will want to have this ROM is just for all these extras in general settings look at this shit we got clock settings screenshot type screenshot delay three finger gesture show three draw throw show set and draw shit recent settings we got show memory bar we got enable clear all button clear all button location you can set where you want to clear all button to be at we got the omni switch we got wake lock blocks so if you want to block your way block system on wake locks that is pretty pretty decent uh, maybe not really necessary but you know it's there on the clock settings when you click on that you have an option here clock and alarm you can use digital clock use show next alarm bold hours all this different shit you can do there weather panel you can display your weather if you want you cannot display it if you want calendar events you can display the next event all this bullshit you can set up for your calendar pretty good pretty good some pretty awesome stuff screenshot type you can take full screen or you can set the um the, um, the actual size of your screens of your screenshot <laughs> Okay, and we have screenshot delay. Sorry about that. I kicked the table with my. <laughs> yeah, I just kicked the table with my leg there. I apologize. So we got show, set, and draw. We got device host name. And yeah, that's not necessary. But I didn't have to read that for you guys. <laughs> Click. Okay, on the need buttons, we got hardware keys. You can enable them if you want to disable them. And call, pass, and a power button will end the current call interesting torch and we have press button twice for camera that's a shortcut so you just press the power button twice and your camera gets pulled up we got kill app button we got a wake up device playback control control ringtone volume keyboard cursor control let's see auto keyboard rotation so if you turn your phone either left or right sideways upwards portrait landscape the keyboard will navigate disable full screen Let's see what else we got here on the notification draw we got the kill app button we got uh what else we got shit come on blur all right guys i promise you this is gonna be the last type of blurs you're gonna see i'm gonna fix this lens once and for all but here you got custom header image all this extra shit that you can set right here and you know let me not stretch out this any longer because pretty much all this is pretty basic right here as you guys know i'm just going through the whole emotion os settings so as you know it is packed with a lot of features majority of these features i know some of them i'm not familiar with uh let me take a look power menu like these things is what i know of course whenever you have that power menu you can choose if you want restart menu screenshot screen record yes this rom actually also comes with a pre-built screen recorder installed in a rom so that's pretty good we got pie control as well this is pretty good it'll just show like a little pie to the right side of your phone i think you can set it wherever you want a pie to be and it just have a lot of shortcut keys to actually assist you that's pretty much it <laughs> so yeah overall i think this rom is actually pretty good it is pretty fast as you see there's no lag whatsoever with the rom even up to the time you actually multitask and it have a lot of different applications running in the background if you're doing split screen you're still not going to experience any lag whatsoever that's because of the dedicated four gigs of ram that we have installed in the lg v20 the lg v20 is a powerhouse we just need people we just need developers to come up with roms like these that are so well optimized that will take full advantage of the snapdragon processor that's inside inside of the phone as well of the, as well as the four gigs of ram so as i said there's no lag whatsoever you can play games you can listen music you can do whatever the hell you want to do you will not experience any lag whatsoever with this rom the only downside as you guys know with this rom that i can tell you about so far the second screen is what I see. It's still not working, but that is to be expected because it's an AOKP ROM. It's an AOSP ROM. There will be no workaround to get the second screen to work, so keep that in mind. Bear that in mind. 
And in addition, another thing that I recognize while utilizing the ROM as well is that it doesn't seem to have fast charging. Well, at least when I plug in my phone, I don't see the little words that says fast charging. It's, it's just charging. So I do not know if they didn't generate the ROM to have those words or if it's just not fast charging at all. I'll have to experiment it again just to see if it fast charge or not. But I just thought I'll FYI and let you guys know about that. So overall, is this ROM good or not good? Um... Either or, if you love AOKP ROMs, if you love AOSP ROMs, you're going to enjoy the hell out of this ROM. So I'll definitely recommend it to those who love those ROMs. But if you're comfortable with the LG V20 build ROM that came with the phone, the default stock ROM, this may be a little far-fetched for you. You may not enjoy this ROM as this ROM comes with a lot of custom features pre-built in the ROM. And keep in mind, it does not come with a default LG camera. It comes with like a Google type of camera, a Google type of camera. So you're not going to get all those extra features and you're not going to really take full advantage of the two cameras that come with your phone if you utilize this ROM. So for those of you who are familiar with AOKP, AOSP, CM ROMs, yeah, this ROM is a must get for you guys if you have no problem with the second screen. But for those of you who are cut, who love LG stock, who love what LG does with their with their firmware, the applications, you know, the default applications that come with the phone, all the LG firmware applications, I mean, that come with the phone. Yeah, this ROM may not be for you. But then again, you know, test it out. This is the whole point of rooting your phone. Test it out. Back up your ROM that you currently have on your phone right now. If you don't like the shit, just go back to the build that you like. Okay, so overall, I recommend this ROM to people that like these type of ROMs. But again, if you are if you like stock ROMs, this may not be the ROM for you. And again, if you like videos like this, if you want me to come up with more videos like this, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Have yourself an awesome day. And... I love you guys, and I promise I'll come out with a lot more videos, I apologize for stuttering so much, I'm just a little nervous, because it's my first time back in a few weeks, but I love you guys, I'll get accustomed to this again, <laughs> stay tuned, I mean stay tuned, did I put a D at the end, I did put a D at the end, D for dick! <laughs>